the same I think we can move forward. Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. This is a meeting of the Public Art Commission for the Town of Amherst. My name is Angela Mills and I work for the Town Manager's Office. At this time, we have not reached quorum for this group. And if one more member arrives, then they will reach quorum and be able to take substantive votes. If that does not occur, I would ask the members who are present to remember that what's discussed here should not be discussed outside this meeting and that you encourage other members of this group to refer to the minutes of this meeting for further information. So at this time, um, Terry, if that's all right with you, I will make you the host. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. I'm good with that. All right. Thank you, Angela. Mm -hmm. And we okay. are recording. You're good. Thank you. Welcome to mm -hmm. the Amherst Public Arts Commission meeting of June 5th, 2023, June 15th, 2023. Oh, I'm to take minutes. Oops. Uh, I'm Terry Holt, chair. Um, in light of the ongoing COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak, then Governor Baker issued an emergency order on March 12th, 2020, allowing public bodies greater flexibility in utilizing technology in conduct of meetings under the open meeting law. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access, access the meeting may do so in the following manner by clicking on the Zoom link. This recording gets uploaded to the town's YouTube channel promptly after the meeting. No in-person attendance by members of the public is permitted, but every effort is made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. And in the event they are unable to do so, or regardless, we will post this on the town's YouTube channel shortly after the meeting. All right. All right. So that's about it. Um, let's go ahead and go forward. I, I hate to miss. Yeah, me, but, but we've got some things to discuss here. So we'll just we'll just move forward. Um, OK, um, first, let's take a look at the, the minutes and approve the minutes. Did you all get, get a copy of the minutes? No, did, did you send that? I sent them uh, out right after the soon after the meeting. A long time oh, ago. well, then I probably did. <laughs> that was a while ago. Yeah, it's a while ago. What do I have? I think I have them up somewhere. I had one, one, uh, one mistake I found. Um, okay. I can share my screen if you want to take a look at it. Hold on a second here. All right. Just to kind of everyone can take a look here. All right. How do you get the other? Not that one. The other one. Oh, I swear, this is so tricky. All right, one second. Okay, um, I'm on the wrong screen. Let me try again. Sorry, this is always so confusing. It's just killing me. <laughs> All, All right. right. I have the minutes if you. You've got it? I've got them. Okay, so if you can see my screen, um, uh, the one thing I found, Jim, was just you have Miss King read the script concerning remote participation. If you just change that to Miss Holt, I'm sorry. Um, oh, everything else looked um, looked fine. Oh, whoops! Sorry about that. Lori, did you have any changes? Um, I was. I think I was there, so it doesn't say I was there. Uh oh. It, yeah, you're you're up there, and members present. The first line. Oh, I'm looking at the yeah. wrong ones. Oh, okay. Are you looking on my? Okay. I do. I see it now. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong ones. Music. Okay. Uh huh. That's all I saw. Uh, we can't approve the minutes anyways without a quorum, so we'll just note any changes for the record, okay. Jim, and, and we'll uh, vote it. Vote for it. For the next meeting. Okay, great. Okay, so we'll we'll move on then because we can't exactly approve this. So, and do you have the agenda for this meeting? I do. Do you want me to? Do you want me to bring that up? Is that easier for you? Um. Did you send that too? And I missed that. That was sent by Angela last week, but um, I can send you. Mm -hmm. I'll look in my email. It's if you look, I just look up Angela Mills. It's right in, it's the, you should have got a reminder yesterday also. I got the reminder. So is it in that, in the reminder? Um, yes, I think it was on both of them actually. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna share my screen again so that we are all on the same page. 
um, going by our agenda. Um, so invite public comment, no one is here. Uh, we cannot approve minutes. So I can go ahead and read my chair report and I sent that to you, Jim. So you should have that. Yep. Um, okay. Just, no, just one second, know. just for future. So I, I've got these emails from her about how to join, but I don't have minutes. So when- uh, You mean agenda? I access, agenda? Mm -hmm, agenda, I mean. Um, if you will search your email for Angela Mills and then agenda, I, I think agenda is actually in the subject line, but I can uh, make sure you get it. Uh, Okay, I don't believe I'm getting that. I have okay. all these reminders from her, but no agenda. So in the future, if she can send the agenda out to everyone, that would yeah. be great. All right, she should have. I don't know why that's not, you didn't get it. So I'll I'll check with her about that. Okay. So uh, chair report. I just want to update you where uh, where we are here on uh, things that I've been working on. Um, uh, poetic dialogue. Uh, I've been in contact with uh, Kamel, who's a uh, really nice guy. He's also applying to the Making It Public grant, which is really great. Um, he is going to be doing the repair on Robert Frost, and he's accepted our $500 proposal, which is fantastic. Um, I told him that we need a written invoice and a W-9 on file before I can get a check. I talked to Holly about that. Um, so when he has those ready for me, I'll go pick him up and start working on the process to get him paid. Um, he plans to do the work as soon as he can. So I'm really looking forward to getting that done. And then I think this may be the last repair we do on Poetic Dialogue. I don't think uh, after this, if, if more repairs are needed, I think we're going to have a conversation about ending that project because uh, I think it's costing, it's costing more than it needs to be costing. Um, the town website, I just following up, I talked we, we were talking about the uh, commission's presence on the website and how we were um, lacking a place to put our calls. And so I talked to Angela and requested a new page. I was very detailed about what I was asking for. And Angela worked with the communications director, Brianna Sun Sunreed, Sunreed? I don't know how to say her last name, to make the additions that we requested. And um, so all of our calls for artists are now on the site and you can take a look at it if you like, it's live. Um, they've also done some changes to the uh, tour, so it's a little bit, uh, I think that might have been broken before, so I'm really grateful to the town of Amherst and Angela and Brianna for doing that for us. For making it public, uh, I'm very excited. Gabrielle is here to talk to us about that. Um, I put a boost out for the call and I submitted it to the Valley Arts News and put it on our Facebook page. Um, Gabrielle got our list of potential judges and she has in turn asked who on our on our commission would be interested in uh, helping out with that, being a judge. So I kind of, I'm going to put that out to our, my commissioners and see who might be interested in being a judge. I think it'd be fun. Um, so you'll discuss among yourselves and we'll figure that out. Um, Gabrielle reports that there are applications in and she's going to talk to us about that in just a minute. Um, for the portal gallery, I created a Google form for submissions and I submitted the call for artists uh, with the link on the application for the application to the Valley Arts newsletter. It's up on the website and I put it on Facebook as well. Uh, we have one application already and I've got, I'm in contact with a person, a second applicant will get their proposal on Monday. And apparently we have a third, I, which we'll I'll find out more from Angela. So that'll get going. Um, because of the timing involved in the getting the artist paid, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the grant project amendment request to extend the deadline for payment. Um, this came from um, Amherst, um, the folks at Amherst Cultural Council, and that'll give us some time to view the applications and work with the artists to finish that, finish that work and get that done. Um, I think that was all I had in my chair report, so uh, I would love to move on. Our treasurer is not here, so we're going to breeze past that, and we can't talk about Town Hall without Mikey being here. So um, I would love to move right on to Gabrielle, if you would uh, talk to us about making it public and we'll, I'm gonna stop my share. And if you wanna share something, you can. Great, thank you. Um, so we extended the deadline, um, Terry, you sent it out. We sent it out. We had Brianna at the town put it out. Um, in the end, we have three applicants. Um, and I think once we know who our panel is going to be, we will send this out to all the panelists, the, the panelists. I think um, 
you know, the rubric will help and that's going to be a great starter point. I'd love to see a panelist that's, I'd love to see a judging circle that's very diverse right. um, and um, hopefully well-versed in the art world. So I have met with a couple of faculty at Amherst College who are in the art department who are right. part of our BIPOC community. And then you guys put a great list together. So I think the next step is we reach out to this group and ask who would like to be part of the judging, um, part of the judging circle. What I think the easiest way to do this is to share the applications with our judges, okay. have them use the rubric individually and separately. And then I think we can get us all together. Um, and one of the questions I have for this group is, does somebody from this group want to be a judge or would you like to be with me to be the um, liaison and just the the sort of um, will oversee the the meeting when we get everybody together to pick which of these three um, artists are going to be the ones that get the grant. Um, and the reason I ask that is because, and I don't know who is on your panel, but I believe that we all identify as um, white. And I just wanna make sure that this group is part of the BIPOC community um, unequivocally. I think that that's very important for this um, particular art project. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say is that, you know, it's time to reach out and see who wants to and has the time. I think one joint meeting after they've done the rubrics and they can kind of get together and um, talk amongst themselves and ask us any questions um, and then they can make their vote. That's, that's wonderful. I've got, I, I, I don't think I should be a judge. I would be thrilled to work with Gabrielle to make the, um, to oversee and liaison as needed. I'm happy to, to help run, you know, run that meeting. Um, so that's where I would like to step in if that's okay with all of you. If anybody else wants to be uh, a judge. Please. What is the time timeline on this? Well, we've, you know, we've done so many extensions. What I'd like to do is after this meeting um, tomorrow, send a BCC email to the list of people that you had put forth and a couple of people that we added to the list, see who responds and who's invested. Um, basically tell them that the, the commitment that we're asking from them is their ability to look over the three applications thoroughly, right. um, put their rubric together, yeah. and then we would put a doodle poll out to get everybody to either meet in person um, or to meet on a Zoom. I'm fine with either. I feel like in person allows people to communicate better, especially if they're talking about art, something that I think this group will be very passionate about. Um, and then we would have one meeting. Um, and again, it's it's three. So the, the rubric may be the simplest thing that they all come in. It's one clear, you know, the rubric said that this artist hit all of the salient points and there it is. But if it's a little bit um, nuanced and they want to discuss and have, you know, change each other's minds on the rubric, they can. And then I think we announce who the winner is um, after we uh, after we go through the artist and invite them um, to be the artist of note. Um, I know that um, our DRB and our DAAC um, and a couple of other people have to be brought in. So I think once we have a winner, we should go um, to them as well. But I'm also a little bit worried about, um, I, I don't know how you ask um, these groups to, to decide whether they like I, I think the DAAC is very simple. If if it is handicapped accessible, meaning it can be seen from all sides, and you know this is not a climbing structure, this is not. So I have a feeling the DAAC it can just be a simple you know open and close. Um, what I'm worried about, and I and I think we have the most fantastic DRB committee right now. I'm just worried about um, again people looking at art that is BIPOC that is voted on by BIPOC judges and having any. Um, you know, say of whether or not, you know, it's appropriate for Kendrick Park. So I'd like to speak with Erica Zikos about that, who's the, the chair of the DRB board and see how she feels about it. Um, and then we can go back to Paul and ask him his advice on that as well. So I need that to ask you what those acronyms stand for, for the minutes. What's the Design DRB? Review Board and okay. the Disability... Uh, I have that somewhere. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know what the uh, Amherst AA. Disability Access Advisory Committee. Disability, so we had a first, was, uh, sorry, Amherst, the, disability, Amherst what? disability Access Advisory Committee. 
Okay. I think um, we had at first considered put, um, asking one of the committee members to be on our judges, actually. And one of the reasons was that there would be kind of a buy-in for giving us advice on how to make sure that access is addressed in with the proposal that we accept. Yeah. Um, I don't think there would be like any kind of position where there would be a yes or no, like, no, you cannot do this. I think it would be more advisory, like, uh, you know, this this would this would work, but we have to consider these things. And that would be yeah. that we, we would work that into the proposal with the artist. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not the other concern that, too is that the next DAAC meeting is at the end of August, and I'm not sure when the next DRB meeting is. So, no those those things always get thrown into the works as well. Um, mm -hmm. And at this moment, it is my understanding that all of these groups are um, self-identifying as white. So again, it's it's hard to ask them to be judges on this panel because right. this is a BIPOC um, art piece. So. I think we're yeah, um, trying to be very sensitive to um, who the judges are of the art that is representing um, not my people. Right, right. And right. if you, um, you're you reaching out to these um, potential judges, how will you choose? Uh, is there a limit to the number, I believe, that in the grant? Or can we if, if everyone number. you reach out to says yes, I mean, I, yeah, that's, that's probably one. not going to happen. Um, I'm just curious how you're handling that. I think if it's okay with you, I'd like to look at the list again. Um, mm -hmm. And if they have an art background in some in, in their bios, I think we'd like to start with that. Um, because I do think it's important. It's, you know, it's, it's, you know, having a singing competition, but not having any musicians in the room to decide, right. if, you know, if they're on pitch or tone. So um, I'd like to see, and I think several of the people that you introduced and, and the people that I introduced are in the art community. So I'd like to start okay. with them. Okay. Um, and I don't think this has to be laborious and I don't think this has to be a big panel. I think five would be an amazing number. Okay. I know that in our, in our first ask, we had a larger number than that. Yeah. Um, but that was the, the town planner was kind of working with us. Yeah. You know, and we had two APEC members, one representative from the ACD, um, one from the a Amherst BID, two members of the public, town staff. I mean, there's very specific what our town planner was asking us to look for. And I maybe, she, I think she already had people in mind, right? But uh, I think five is plenty um, and I, I'd like to move this along. So um, do we have to vote on this or is this just gonna be like, do we have to- Can't vote. This doesn't seem to be- You can't be a thing vote, but if, if everybody feels comfortable with this, progression, um, we can start to move this forward. Um, yeah. I'm a little bit worried. I'm away for three weeks of July and two weeks of August. So I'm also very like trying to, you know, get us into a good place with this and schedule this in a time that can work for all of us. And Terry, um, I'll throw the doodle poll at you before we okay. send it to any of the potential jurors. Great. And I, I worked on some, uh, some verbiage with Lori um, for sending, for sending out emails to our potential jurors i'm going to send that to you so if you want to use any of it you can um yeah and i will i will send it from the two of us um so okay. i will cc you on it and um okay. we'll, we'll start with that okay i will copy um what we came up with and i'll i'll email it over to you okay Thanks. that's great so what was your timeline when do you think you're going to get the judging done I'd like to reach out to the judges tomorrow. It is a three-day um, important holiday. It's Juneteenth this weekend, so we can give them a couple of, uh, maybe like until the end of next week to respond yes or no, and then reach out to a couple more if we if we don't have the five that we're looking for. Um, I'd love to see if we can get them to um, get their rubrics done by maybe, see it's already, that would be the end of June, by the time so maybe we could get them together like june 10th if or june 11th sometime i mean maybe sorry july. July, july july 10th or july 11th um to do the final vote and mm -hmm. then um we can send it to the daac and ask them if they might want to do an email group with with their i'm not sure what the rules about that are um and and then we can see if we can get out in the drb schedule so i think you know i i believe that the goal was to have this up in november um so we have some time but we also right. want to give the artist enough lead time to start their creation right okay all right that sounds good to me okay great any other questions for us 
I was hoping for more than three, um, <laughs> but so I'm we have three. It's a, it's a, you know, I know it's not a, yeah. a big money project, but it's a, it's a, a nice, uh, I think it'll be a, a really great visual, uh, a great visual for our town to have. I a think pipeline. had, I'm had our predecessors it. gone with a mural, um, sculpture, $10,000 for sculpture. It's just, it's zero money. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's asking so much of a metal yeah. worker or it could a, have been a mural. Yeah. A mural would be fantastic, but a I mural would have been, but we weren't part of that. I don't know if you were, I, I wasn't part of that conversation. Yeah. I think <laughs> we would have had a hundred submissions had it been a mural. Right. Um, but I know like one of the sculptors talked to me, um, you mentioned Camille earlier. Um, you know, he's one of you know, and I know that the piece that he has put forward um, is very similar to a piece that he did for another community for literally six times this amount. Oh my um, goodness. Wow. But he but loves But he's a local so, here. Yeah. 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 So it's, I think it's just sculpture is, you know, I, I want to do a very hungry caterpillar sculpture at some point mm -hmm. and dedicate, like have it in our downtown, like the ducks in Boston. Mm -hmm. um, and I, my, oh, my husband was a fine arts major and a sculptor and a um, painter. Um, and I showed him my idea and he was like, great, that's $250,000. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like, they're little. And he's like, yeah, and that's $250,000. So I think sculpture is where we kind of, we kind of blew it. Right. No, but I, we do I have three, like we do have three BIPOC artists who are interested and to give an artist $10,000 to create something that, you know, hopefully speaks to our community, I think it's, it's a great opportunity. I think so too. All right, anything else on this matter? And Gabrielle, do you, are you gonna stick around with us or do you need to take off? I'm not, I this is my eighth hour of Zoom today. Um, oh, and ooh. I really am super oh my gosh. Well, Thank you so much for coming and reporting to us what's going on with that. And um, I'm excited to get this thing moving along. I, I know Lori, I speak for you too. Like, this came out of nowhere when we first started with the commission and we, we feel like, like it was kind of thrown at us and then the people left. So we've been trying to figure it out all along. So thank you for joining yeah. us and being part of this. Well, thank you yeah, everybody thank you. for jumping in on this because when Paul told me that they were just gonna let the grant go, I was like, um, no, we can we can figure something out. So I think really out of non-ideal circumstances, we're gonna have at least a martini with a lemon twist. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, without a town planner, it was, it was gonna make it impossible for this commission to do this. So thank you for jumping in and, and doing this with us. Thanks guys, have a great afternoon. Thank you so much. I'll send you an email right away with this with this text. Great. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye. -bye. It's just us now. Oh my goodness. I think if I remember correctly, we were steered away from murals. I think we were. I think you're I think right. we were yeah. told um, that 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 the downtown there was some other group working on there, murals, yep. and that, I heard that this was name. not, and that was off the table. Really too bad because I I really think that we need more murals in this town. They're beautiful and they, they beautify your downtown areas. I, I love them so much. But anyway, sculpture it is. And yes, they uh, sculptures are very expensive to create. And, and I do see her point about, you know, I feel like we're not paying these artists enough and I, I hate that part, but I'm thrilled that we have three applicants. So look forward to that. I look forward to looking and see what they've got, you know, what's, what's going on. Um, let me see if there is a person missing here. Um, no, no one's in the waiting room. So it's just the three of us. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, what else do I have to talk about today? Um, yeah. well, it's going to be a really fast meeting. We can't do strategic planning because obviously, you know, there's only three of us. So we'll do that maybe for the July, if we can all get together in July. So I'll send out a doodle poll about timing for July. I'll find out what, uh, what happened to Mikey this week. And, um, that's about all I had. Does anybody have anything, any business that we didn't anticipate prior to the 48 hours before the meeting? Nope. All right, yeah. I, I will say I've got, um, I am gonna fill out this grant project extension form and send that in to the Amherst Cultural Council and hope we can get an extension on the Boltwood uh, project. But um, I'm gonna be looking at, I think two applicants for that and I will report I guess we'll be meeting and talking about that in July. And well, we'll thank you for all that you're doing. You've taken on the lion's share of all the work and I'm really well, appreciative. I just wanted to like apologize for being a little hard to contact 
I've kind of I've come out the other side on these uh you know this uh the death of my mother and all the funeral mm -hmm. and the memorial and a lot of traveling and mm -hmm. uh, I've been a little hard to contact so I apologize for that but I'm still trying to get things done <laughs> well you are getting a lot done I'm very appreciative of all that you're doing to carry well, everything forward for for this commission well thank you Laurie um, I think that's it. We're, um, I think we have, we have, might have a candidate um, who is applying to the Amherst Public Art Commission, but I don't have, they actually canceled the meeting we were going to have with a potential uh, group of applicants. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'll talk to Angela. I'm hoping we're going to bring somebody else aboard. That would be really great. Going to divvy up the labor a little bit more. Uh, so I'm probably going to volunteer to be the person working alongside um, Gabrielle to plan whatever uh, get togethers that we need to get this thing off the ground and get it done. But um, maybe. May, uh, I point, may I point out something? Yeah. They snidely said that I was appointed until somebody else could find to replace me. So if you find somebody else, you got to have to deal oh. with that. They said well, that? I'm, I thought I you said, were just re up for a year. Well, the last thing I saw in writing was what I just said, which frankly does not make me happy. I but, didn't see that. Uh, I did. Okay. <laughs> but just, well, uh, just why, is, why is that, James? Why I, is that, James? There was something going on behind the scenes that I'm not fully aware of. I think they I thought think it was a term limit something. thing. I was thinking it might be a term limit because there's a you can only um, you can only work so many years. Well, I've, uh, I've only been up one term. This is my second term. Right. I don't wonder what that's all about. Well, well then we have to work on chain, on rectifying that. Yeah. I mean, it may may be okay. I just, it's a footnote. All right. I'm going to reach out to Paul about that. That seems a little, a little sketchy. Why don't you, I, I would suggest Angela. I can do that. She's easy to talk to. <laughs> exactly. And I think she's fully aware of it. Huh, okay, I'll talk to her about it and see what's going on and I'll report back to you. Great, thanks. I don't know what that's about. I'm very glad to have you here, Jim. I think they said something about I was sick or something, which I... Well, you were sick once. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, I'll find out about that and get back to you. All right. All right, um, if Thank you have nothing else, then uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night and I'll send a doodle out for July. And okay. um, I can't even call to adjourn, we're just gonna adjourn. So have a great night. Great, All right. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you, good night.